welcome back all right we're gonna do this again we're gonna try it again it's uh it's midday right now i'm gonna say it's maybe close to 12. oh it's 11 11 o'clock so uh yeah we're gonna try this again i didn't come out early this morning because we had uh like 40 percent chance of rain 50 percent chance of rain i know that's kind of low but uh it kind of cleared up i think i got a window maybe four hours before it jumps up to like 50 or 60 percent so uh we're gonna try it for a few hours today uh i might try a little bit of crappie i'll probably just troll around for some bass i'm gonna try a little bit of everything so uh i didn't bring too many rods with me but i brought a few so uh anyways we're gonna try this i'm over here kind of just in two foot of water it's like two and a half foot of water from here to the boat ramp it's crazy uh, I can't even put my trolling motor down if I go over to my right over there, so it, 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 Aquila is low. Anyways, uh, we're going to get out here. I'm going to try different things. So uh, let's get get right into it, man. I'm, 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 I'm ready to cast the line. I had to enjoy the last time I was out here. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. Let's see what, see what we can make happen. guys uh i got a uh guggen squad mondo kit here if you can see it pretty sweet little little box there i was at carl's bait and tackle the other day and i picked this box up i didn't pick it up i actually i got it for free uh and uh they had some awesome awesome uh rods there on sale for 50 percent off like i ended up getting like a uh can you remember the name of it? I got a ton of rods at the house right now, just sitting in the corner. My wife is just, she's ready to see them things get out of the living room. But anyways, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It was probably like a $150 rod. Uh, I'll think of the name later in the video, maybe tell you. But uh, I ended up getting it for like 50 bucks. And if you spend 50 bucks or more, then you got a free Mondo kit. So uh, let's open this box up and see what's in it, man. Uh, I cut the tape earlier. I don't have anything to bowl with a knife, but let's uh, open it up here. Okay, we got here a little mini banger. I guess it came with a sticker. That's pretty cool. A little swim jig. It's all Guggen stuff. Looks like. Look at that frog. That frog is pretty sweet. Filthy frog, huh? A zinger spinner bait. That's pretty cool. A little face shield. Man, I might keep that. And uh, the Saucy Swimmer. Man, those look pretty cool. There's a trailer, a little swim bait. Actually got a little swim bait tied on a, on a rod here. But, well, I can't show you. can't get the damn thing out. Anyways, it's that little thing right there. I'd probably do good on something like that. White on Aquila I think is pretty good. Anyways, I might toss some of these on and see what we can catch. Catch. You know what? I'm not going to tie anything on. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all this back in the box. Maybe minus the face shield. I don't know yet. I'll put all this back in the box. Okay. I'm at, I think, 970 subscribers right now. If... I can get to a thousand subscribers in the next two weeks. I'm gonna give this thing away. How does that sound? I'm not a big Guggen fan anyway, so I'm gonna give it away. So, okay, what are the rules? What can we do so I can figure this out? Okay, so I guess follow me on Instagram and uh, leave a comment on the video that you watched and, 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 and you follow me on Instagram, I guess. Same thing, all Botello Outdoors, and uh, I'll pick someone. I'll pick someone in the next two weeks if I hit a thousand subscribers. I'll pick someone and give that thing away. It ain't gonna do me no good. I got tons of tackle, so uh, let's do that. Thousand subscribers, two weeks. I might even push it three weeks. I mean, that's only like 30, 30 subs. I know I can do that real quick, and then I'll give that thing away. Hell, I might be doing some giveaways. Like I said, I got all of these freaking rods 
which I mean I really don't want to give them away but I mean at every thousand subscribers I might give something away so uh, let's, let's do that guys all right free Guggen Squad Mondo kit thousand subs let's make this happen all right let's get to fishing all right guys I'm gonna <clears throat> start it off a little slow just chunking a little worm here actually a Guggen worm I said I didn't like Guggen baits but man that's pretty cool I really could guess I didn't really gave it a chance but I think that's called like a snake something I don't know but uh it feels really good in the water it feels like it swims good you know, I'm fishing for gnats right now. See if there's anything up in here shallow. I don't really want to throw a crankbait in these rocks just yet. It's a little too shallow. Really, just more or less weight bait. You know what? I need to tie a weight bait on. I'm going to do that. Wow. Man, this weight bait right here looks so good. KBD. Check it out. The purple. Man, it just looks like a shad. I mean, it's a little big, but it might trigger a big bite. I mean, I can just chunk it over the top of those rocks and it ain't gonna get hung up. Nothing. We're gonna try this out until I get a little bit deeper water and I can chunk a, uh, I can chunk a, uh, little crankbait or something. Probably should tie on a DT6 instead of an 8. It's gonna work it. It's just sporadic. It look like a dying shad. Okay. Whew, that even sounds good. First one hooked on. It's like a little bass. A little bass. I feel like I caught this little fella the other day. I feel like I caught this little fella the other day. He's right there. Same spot he was the other day. Well, that's going to be the first one for today off this point. Looky there. Crappie right here. Maybe this is going to be a dang crappie crankbait video. The first one. It's been slow guys. Ah, I've been struggling, 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 struggling. Feel, feel good. Maybe them crappie are right in here. I don't know. Who knows? That was the first cast right here in this little area. Okay, I was talking about white bass just a while ago. Here's the first one. <laughs> Caught a little crappie. It's small. Oh, look, it's windy over here in this main part. I saw I saw a little cluster of crappie. I don't remember where it was at. I could see them because they were stacked up straight, straight up. got like four pound line on this. This is one of my crappie setups. Okay. I'll take some white bass right now. I can try to get a hold of that one. There's another one. Ain't nothing. There's no size. But Wow, got one over here on this long pole. It feels like it's a little bit bigger size. Oh. I 
Yeah. Gotta be careful in this line. It's It's about 25 like that. Here, get in here. Heck yeah, I found them. Up. I found a little sweet spot over here behind me where all the, the seagulls are. They're, they're picking up all the shad that these white bass are, are pushing up, you know. So they're sitting there with, waiting for that free meal. I've been watching them until the live well is starting to get full. So look, you see them over here to the left of me? Look at them, look at them. Them white bass, as soon as I... Look at them. I think I got one on. He let go, ooh, there he is. Golly, it's so much fun with four pound tests. Catching them with a crappie set up. Feels like I'm fighting a 10 pounder every time. <laughs> are over here behind me. There he is. There he is. I don't think this one's got any size. He doesn't have any size, but he feels like he does. Feels like he does. Look at that. He acts like he's a little shark. 
get up here. <laughs> All right, guys, I got 15 in the box. We're gonna go ahead and get my limit and then move on from here. So we need 10 more. Make it happen. Right here, let's count them down. 10 more casts, 10 more white bass. There's one. I feel like this one's little. I don't want to keep no little ones. I threw a couple of little ones back in. Let's see. Eh, he might have a little bit of sauce. We're going to actually put him over here on the other side so we know so we need 10. All right, guys, I only need five more to get in the boat. Let's see how many I can catch on my modified Booyah rig that I made. I modified myself. So let's see. It's almost like an Alabama, we just call it the Alabama white bass rig. I think I got more than one. What do y'all think? <laughs> Maybe it's just one. Maybe it's just one. Yep, it's one. He got the trailer. All right. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to throw it back out there. I need four more. I mean, I've been wanting to, to test this out, so... Next video will probably be with this bait. Okay, how many are on that one? Probably just one. You can think more than one will get it. Yeah, this don't feel like it's more more than one. He's tangled up in it. Where did, which one did he get? God dang. It's okay, I only caught one on that one. I want to catch more than one. Okay, this one feels a little bit heavier. Yeah, this one might be too. It's like actually peeling a little bit of drag. Let's see. What do y'all think, two? I think two. Yeah, I think there's more than one. Yeah, three, <laughs> three of them. That's the three that I needed. I gotta get a picture of this. This is too cool. Too cool. All right. I think the live well is full now. All right, guys. I'm hooked up again. I don't know. I think it's just maybe one. That's a good one. Next to the trailer. I want to continue fishing and get some footage of my booyah rig in action, my modified booyah rig. I'll have to show a, a video on how to do it. I have other other ways in mind how to how to build them, but. I got these uh, Booyah rigs, there's different ones, and this one is like an umbrella rig which is only has one hook on it, which is the main one that trails, and the other ones are little, um, like little trailers. So what I did, is I got, I opened up the hook right here, where the little trailers were, and then I actually put little jig heads right here, and then tied the wire back. On it but I think we can do it with little snap rings so uh, I'm gonna kind of go back to the drum board on it and and see if we can uh, build some quicker and faster you know and I got these at I think an outlet bait and tackle which now they changed their name to something else not sure Ooh. right there on this one. Okay, real quick on this rig. There are two nice ones right there. You don't catch them every time. 
two at a time. But you do catch, I guess, uh, every four or five casts, you might catch two at a time. Which I guess it all depends on the frenzy, you know, if they're all bowled up together, you know. But if not, then I'm, like I said, it's not every cast like I thought it would be. But just wanted to share that with you guys. Probably gonna break me off. Freaking carp. Ah. Where's he at? Probably gonna call it a day with this. It's probably gonna break me off. All that, we're going to call it a day. Anyways, thanks for viewing, guys. I'll do a closing here in a minute. All right, face is all wet. That freaking carp splashing all over me. Uh, calling it was uh, actually a pretty productive afternoon. So uh, I know it's still early and I should be fishing the rest of the evening, but... I got some white bass. Pretty pumped up about that. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Fishing was slow at the beginning. Caught, what, one bass, I think? Maybe two, I can't even remember. Uh, caught that one crappie on a crankbait, and then I actually got on the white bass. I came over here to see if I can dangle a few uh, crappie right here, doodle a few of them right here. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel don't forget guys that I'm giving away the, uh, the Mondo Bass Mondo kit Guggen Squad subscribe hit me up on Instagram too so uh, that's how I'm gonna I guess pick who the winner is so uh, follow me on Instagram leave a message on the comments below on, on YouTube so uh, anyways hopefully I can hit another 30 more subscribers and hit a thousand Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.